morning, lovelies. So, did you ever think it was a really good idea to put your head up in one of these things? Yeah, me neither. So freaking heavy and uncomfortable. Why do people do that to their heads? Oh, so freeing. Okay, so what I want to talk about is some interesting things about me in the shower. Sounds a lot creepier than it is. But as someone with chronic pain and illness, I, you guys always are asking me about coping skills. So this is the shower is one of them for me. So I thought it would be do, fun to do some fun facts about the shower. Some sort of song if I knew how to add songs and not crash my editing program. Okay, so I shower when I'm upset, when I'm angry when I'm tired, when my stomach's upset, when I'm in pain, when I'm sick. It's like other people's Tylenol. Anytime I'm any emotion or sick, I take a shower. Unless I physically cannot take a shower, which is quite often. But I'm thinking in my head, I wish I was in the shower right now. Um, it is also why I got a life proof case on my cell phone because sometimes I need to call my mom at 2 o'clock in the morning because I'm stuck in the shower. Another fun fact. Uh, another thing is I do the most thinking possible in the shower. So you might be having a little conversation with me and I go, oh my gosh, today when I was in the shower, I was thinking about you and da da dot makes a very awkward conversation but it's true <laughs> i do so much thinking in there and it's because i'm constantly doing like three or more things at once like i'm either like on the computer editing looking up a pic like a song watching tv and a movie checking texts like i'm always doing go 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 and then when i get in the shower it's like I can't do anything so I just think which makes it very awkward to write things down and remember them once I get out of the shower makes sense though huh another thing about my showers is I have a game plan when I'm taking showers for cleanliness or hygiene not for the before mentioned things I have to it's like a deal or no deal type conversation I have with myself. I can either wash my hair, wash my body really well, not just like the armpits and hit the good areas, or I can shave. Now I can deal out some of those, like just shave my armpits and wash my hair, or wash my body really well and shave my legs. But I cannot go in the shower wash my hair, wash my body, and shave everything. Fun fact, I can't do it. I'd be exhausted and I'd have, someone, have to have someone carry me into my bed. So that's always not fun. Um, the other thing is, is that, I was just thinking of something really funny. <laughs> Oh man, I have started to take baths more, which are good for shaving, I've found. That I can shave my legs and my armpits, and I'm good. But um, the other thing is, oh, I'm, I'm like, what is the, what's the biggest thing I wanted to talk about? Um, okay, these are weird. I don't know, I feel, I feel like they're weird. When I say them to people, they're like, that's weird. So, I don't know, maybe it's like a chronically ill type thing, or I don't know, I just think it's smart. I take showers sitting down. Boom. I actually have taken showers sitting down since before I was sick. Fun fact. So it was weird because I was just in the shower. I don't know if you noticed, but I was sitting in the shower and I was washing my hair and I was like, oh, I should talk to my YouTube friends about how I wash my hair sitting down. And um, cause people are like, that's always what people say. Like, well, how do you wash your hair? Like you just put it under the water. But um, I was thinking, oh, it's, it's so weird.
weird to stand in the shower. And I was like, wait, no, it's weird to sit in the shower. I need to talk about this. So, um, I think I started doing it actually in high school because I've never been a morning person. If you wake me up, it's just like I was not meant to sleep during that time. Um, I get, and I like, I don't mean like a morning person as in like I'm grumpy in the morning, a morning person as in I get really sick if I have to wake up in, early in the morning. Like my doctor lets me come in in the afternoon because she knows I get super sick in the morning. So all through high school, I wake up and be sick. Like most of the times I would throw up and I had chamomile tea every single morning to try not to throw up every morning. And as one knows, in the morning, it's not fun to throw up because you don't have anything to throw up. So I would go into the sh my shower every morning and um, get in the shower. Well, being the morning and feeling sick and not really wanting to be awake, I didn't turn the lights on ever. So I've actually just gotten into the habit of not having the lights on. So not only do I sit down in the shower, I don't turn the lights on when I'm in the shower. Weird, I know. Um, I still do that. Sometimes I do flick on the lights, like if there's people staying at my house, they generally turn on the light because they, so that they know that I'm in there. But um, yeah, I still would rather not have that. But I did it a bit more because the house I grew up in and the house that I was in high school and all that stuff in what had a, a light, a window, gosh, a window and we had a really bright light that would go on outside so light would flood in. So even if it was dark out, it was still pretty light in my bathroom once your eyes adjusted. But when I went to college, it was like a cement block. So even a little night light didn't really illuminate that much. I think I took with the lights a lot more then, but then when I got ill, I got back into the practice of taking showers, sitting down, or laying down, whatever you want to say, and no light. Welcome, strangers, to the, my life, taking showers. Um, so I think those are unique things to me, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're kind of a sickness thing. But now I legitimately, it's cool because I can't sit in the shower. I can't stand in the shower. So, I mean, I could stand probably for like five minutes or so. But after that, I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Um, so, yeah. So now it's kind of cool because I'm like, oh. I got my practice in high school with this whole sitting down in the shower. Now, it did take some practice to actually, like, bathe myself sitting down. Because I would, like, wash my hair and then, um, you know, soap up, get everything off, and then I would sit down in the shower. And then, but it was really weird because people were always like, why don't you just take baths? And I was like, that would be really smart. But I have OCD thinking which if you guys watched my video a couple days ago is you would have known that because I mentioned it in that but I have I'm weird because I'm not like real crazy about germs but I do think about germs a lot so like even if it's my shower and only I use it after a certain point I know that it's dirty and not because I can see anything I just in my mind know I don't really actually know, but I just have this like, and then I feel like the germs, If I, and then I feel like if I take a bath, the germs are just going to like eat me. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Like none. So that's it. That's my whole story. So, but um, I do have my, my bathroom. My mom cleans my bathroom more often. Um, just because she knows now that I get really psycho about it. And, um, and when I was in Florida, I got into the habit of taking baths and I don't know what it is about baths. I just feel like they're like choking me to death. Like I'm always too hot or I'm too cold. And like you have to, you guys don't know. I don't think you guys have seen me full length. Yeah. I haven't done like an outfit of the day or anything. But if you saw me full length, I have, like, this is my body, 
And then this is, these are my legs. I have super duper long legs. So to actually like slide down in the bath, my legs are like spidey legs, like up. So it's not actually that comfortable for me. And I like the noise of a shower. Like once the tap stops going for the bath, I'm kind of like, so this is awkward. It's, it makes me anxious. But like I said, I'm getting more into that mode because in Florida, like it seriously only took like two minutes and the hot water would be out. Like not exaggerating two minutes. And like, it's really hard to take a full shower in two minutes, especially one that you're doing to relax. Um, so yeah, those are just some of the fun things that I do in the shower. Maybe it'll be helpful for you and make you feel less weird if maybe you sit in the shower. Or maybe it'll just make me feel more weird because nobody does. In the comments down below, please let me know a weird custom or unique thing that you think you have about showering, bathing, etc. Anything to do with those topics. Put it in the comments down below. And sending out X the and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!